welcome back to another session with me, Monica. Today, we are on a beautiful beach in Hawaii. I'm just shaking out my mat. There's a little bit of sand on it. And you can step on the back of your mat this time, bringing your hands up to the sky, saying hello to the sky. Most of the sky here is pretty cloudless right now. So it's a really pretty shade of baby blue. And coming yourself down to your feet, coming up halfway, and again down to the ground and halfway. And you're gonna step to a warrior one pose. Bringing your hands up to the sky Simply acknowledging this simple pose, making our hips forward, finding the balance, and just leaning over to the left and leaning over to the right. And again, lean over to the left and lean over to the right. Then you're going to bring the back leg a little bit down, straightening out the right leg and forward folding, bringing the head to the knee. You can bend the right leg if you need to as well. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Saying good morning to our body or good evening or hello in the midday. But right now we are here in our body, waking up our muscles to the next portion of our day. And now you're gonna engage your core, hold tight, bring your hands up just a little bit more forward. You're gonna bring the back leg up to the sky into a standing split. As you can see, I'm not that flexible. I can't go into a standing split. But I'm holding the pose, breathing into my legs, and acknowledging that as I breathe, I am stretching. So that way, one day, maybe my legs will go up to a standing split. And that is for you to remember also, where you are in your body is okay. You can bend the left leg, try to bring it more up to the sky, and then gently bring it back down walk a little bit more forward and then coming all the way up and then reversing out to a warrior two and we we're gonna lean over to one side and then lean over to the opposite side and again and then you're gonna Bring yourself down to a lunge, rocking yourself forward and back, bringing the right leg with the other leg, holding our plank, coming down to a chaturanga, lifting up, saying hello to the sun. It is warming me up. And curling the toes into our down dog and again into the plank to the chaturanga lifting up saying hello to the sun curling the toes and again to the down dog switching our way up forward to the plank coming down lifting up curling the toes and now you're gonna take your left leg up to the sky, bring it up to your plank, taking the back leg, twisting it a little bit and back to that warrior one pose, finding balance in your pose, making sure your hips are square to the front and then slowly lifting up, wobbling your way up however you feel, so that way you come completely up. 
And again, you're gonna lean over to the left and then lean over to the right. You can adjust yourself so that way you have a smaller stance. And then coming down to a fold, bringing the forehead to the knee, in through the nose and out through the mouth, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then bring your hands a little bit further up the mat, engaging the core, bringing the left, right leg up to the sky into that standing split or half split or wherever you are the important part is to breathe and to find your balance in the pose in through the nose and out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth inhale and exhale inhale and exhale very good bringing the back leg back slowly walking back to the forward fold lifting your way up coming out to a warrior two rotating out to find your balance as you can see i'm on sand needed to engrave myself a little bit more and again switch and switch. And coming back down to the lunge, you can again shift your body weight forward and back, side to side, coming to your plank. Coming down to a chaturanga, lifting up to a cobra. And this time you're gonna come down to a child's pose, but more of an elevated one. You wanna curl your toes and sit on your heels. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. going to go to the tabletop, up to the down dog, pedaling out your feet. Coming back to the lunge, lifting up, finding your balance, reaching back, coming back down to your plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. And very quickly, lifting the left leg, shooting it through the lunge, Lifting up, just warming up the body in the faster movement. You got this. Coming back down to your plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Very good. Now you're going to drop the left knee and bring the right leg forward and we're just going to slowly sit down stretching out our legs try to reach the ankle and then open yourself up breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth back to center switching sides and you can lean over as well back to center you're going to lift yourself forward up into that standing split again reaching yourself to a forward fold halfway lift come down and all the way up breathe 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 coming down hop your way or step back into a plank coming down lifting up to the down dog we're going to do the same thing again, dropping the right knee, bringing the left forward, 
and sitting down, trying to grab the ankle, reaching out, coming forward, extending, back to center. Very good. Bringing your weight forward, lifting up into that standing split. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Bring yourself back to the forward fold, dropping the neck, lifting up halfway, coming down all the way up. And then you're just gonna circle your body counterclockwise and then clockwise. And again, let's go counterclockwise. And last time, clockwise. Reaching back, lifting up to the sky, down to your forward fold. Bend both knees, try to put your forehead to the knees. And you're gonna squat a little bit more into a chair pose, lifting up your head, your chin, coming back down, forward fold, grabbing the back of your ankles, again, resting that neck forward, dropping all the weight that it is carrying. Again, you can bend out the knees, Shake them out. Very good. And coming back to your plank. Let's go down and back up into the child's pose. Resting here. Acknowledging how your body is. How do you feel? What are you thinking about? What do you hear and smell? Notice that you are in the present moment. Bring your hands back, clasp them, and bring them over your head. Just stretching out more of your upper neck, your upper shoulders. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Slowly engage the core, come on up. Lifting your chin up. Arms up over the head, leaning to the left and then leaning to the right. Coming back down to your child's pose. And just shift your weight forward into a puppy pose. Resting your chin on your mat. Just allowing the chest to sink to the ground. Slowly come into a dolphin pose. This is like a down dog, but you're on your forearms. I'm coming into a plank on your forearms, dropping your hips down into a mini cobra. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Very good. And you're just going to lift your right elbow up, sweeping through the left hand through. You can rest your hand on your mat or simply look up and twist. It's a small minor twist for our back. Coming back to center, switching sides, switching elbows, looking up to the sky.
back to center to our mini cobra. Pushing ourselves up to the child's pose. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Resting here in our final pose as our body starts to relax. Coming back to the present moment, to our breath, giving gratitude for the day, giving gratitude to ourselves. And slowly come up, back to center, putting your hand on your heart and on your stomach. And thank you for practicing with me, Monica. Please subscribe and like this channel so that way I can create more videos for you. Thank you.